I'm Swati Salgaukar. I'm Vice President in charge of youth development at Salgaukar Football Club. I think the main thing to keep in mind is the quality of coaching has to be the same. You know, you can't compromise saying that these are younger players, these are children. Like, I think everyone deserves the highest quality of coaching. What we realized a few years ago that uh, Indian football was really becoming dependent on foreign players. There were a few players, uh, even Indian footballers at the top, who were getting higher and higher salaries. And while a lot was being done at that level, there really wasn't that much being done um, at the grassroots level. So for the bottom of the pyramid, you know, there were really not very many resources allocated. And then we were hoping to sort of get these footballers at the top. So what we decided to do is really focus on that age group. And we started our community outreach program with every year, you know, and it's, it's been sort of constant every year that we've had it between five and six hundred uh, kids, both boys and girls. Every Sunday they gather, um, I mean, it's more for football as a sport, not really as, you know, a competitive sport for them, but more really to learn, you know, learn the techniques and, you know, the rules of the game and just to have a, a fun time. Since the outbreak of the pandemic, so I would say it's been about a year and a half now, we've unfortunately not really been able to um, have our, uh, our regular coaching for the younger age groups because at the end of the day, it's, it's a responsibility for us and we didn't want to, you know, sort of endanger them or their parents or any, you know, elderly relatives that they might have at home. Uh, so we thought that we really had to, you know, take that hard decision to pause it. People are often apprehensive of getting a vaccination in a closed space. You know, we run uh, a not-for-profit uh, hospital and we've had several vaccination drives there. And we found that once the numbers started increasing, it made sense to do a lot of it outdoors, even the testing. Um, and we're fortunate to have those grounds at the hospital. But I think that really makes a difference in uh, the perception that people have because everyone, I think there was a great deal of fear. People didn't want to go to a hospital because they were afraid they would, you know, go for the vaccine and then end up sort of being infected with COVID or something else instead. So I think it definitely would help. And I think one part that really needs to be looked at, especially in a place like Goa, where village football is so prominent and important, um, is really how professional football and village football can uh, coexist. We've faced this problem many times where we've had players who, you know, the previous day have gone and competed in a village tournament, um, you know, and got injured, you know, sort of celebrated a bit too hard after that and really not been uh, in a match fit condition for, uh, you know, a professional match the next day. And we, our sort of solution around it was really to, you know, kind of sequester them for a night before, have them check into a hotel, you know, make sure they were sort of under supervision. Um, but I think if there can be a way to really find how these two, um, the professional and the village football, how it can coexist, um, I think that's quite important in going football as well.